Uh, hello everyone. Today I'd like to show you how to root your um, Motorola Atrix 2 uh, phone so you can install off-market applications and you have the applications will have root access. Uh, root access. So um, before we proceed, please agree that by doing this you may and can break your phone um or your phone can become unfunctional so you are doing it at your own risk uh just because it's work worked for me does not mean it will work for you so uh please do this at your own risk uh if you agree to those terms please continue watching the video first thing that you need to do is make sure a few things are checked off and a few things are um uh i and to understand uh, what software you have installed on your phone first thing you need to go into settings go into applications and make sure unknown sources is uh, checked off uh, go down and go to development and USB debugging is checked off once that's done go back go back go back to the main settings page come down go to about phones and go to well you don't have to go uh, see Android version um, this particular phone the Android version is 2.3.6 so um, do note what version your phone is and go back and so that's it uh, and let's so once you have finished doing that what you want to do is plug in the USB into the sorry USB port like so and go up here scroll down and connect and make sure charge only click on charge only and click OK and you can put the phone down so the first thing you need to do is go into the description box and download the files which I provided um, depending on the Android version you are running either the 2.3.6 or the 2.3.5 you need to download uh, the file and unzip it accordingly um, I had the 2.3.6 so that's the one I unzipped and um, continued installing um, so once you have downloaded uh, uh, you have to extract the file and once you extract it this this is what you get open it uh, once you open you need to click on uh, click to root okay nothing else just click to root and this is what you're gonna have you can connect device to begin once you do that everything is automatic um, this is the easiest and the simplest way to go uh, some people like to call it lazy but I say it very simple no headache nothing nothing to know about coding or or uh, any other so uh, any other uh, commands or ADB or, or anything like that it's just made simple for you to use and uh, it'll work perfectly uh, you just gotta know which version of Android you have and uh, and it'll work and everything will be done so the the phone will start rebooting on its own uh, it's going to take a few minutes so just be patient until it's finished it's rebooting again
I uh, do understand I have done this already once so I'm just doing it over it might if the log gives you shows some kind of error or fail that because it's because I already did it it may not be the same case for you because uh, because um, uh, you be the first time you're doing this and so uh, it's done doing it right so now what you can do is go into uh, the phone and see if it works and so uh, go into the phone go into go into uh, app, your applications and you will see the icon super user look super user and it, and all the different application that has root access right and another way to check if it worked is to download go into the market and download application application called root check root checker and verify root access and congratulations this device has root access so that's how you will um, that you will check if you have uh, root access uh, um, sometimes uh, initially I accidentally installed the 2.3.5 and um, I had the uh, super user icon um, on my applications and I thought it was um, rooted but when I checked with my root checker it said um, root access was denied or uh, not on this device um, so that's why a root checker basic is this application is very very useful you, you could really confirm that if your device is rooted or not uh, so thank you for watching um, hope this helped